Welcome to another episode of Blokes on a Budget, Tips, Tricks and Money Savers. In the past I've showed you how to fix a leaky tap by changing the tap washer, but what if you don't have a tap with a washer, such as a flip mixer, like I've got in my basin here. Uh, you'll also find these in showers, kitchens, all sorts of things. Well they don't have a washer, what they have inside them is a cartridge, and all you've got to do is change the cartridge. Now, if it's a reputable brand, you'll be able to find the cartridge but sometimes you're not going to be able to find it. So the only way to do it is to shut this thing down, pull it apart, and take the cartridge to a plumbing supplier, show it to them, and see if they can match it up. Normally it's the diameter of the cartridge is, is what you're looking for, but sometimes the base is completely different. So I'll show you how we pull this thing apart. But first of all, we've got to turn off the water to the tap. Now if it's a basin or a kitchen, it should have little isolating taps underneath the, um, under the sink which you can easily turn it off. If it's a shower or a bath, then you're going to have to turn the whole building off. And it's going to have to stay off as long as you've got that cartridge out because there ain't nothing you can do about it. So I'll quickly show you how to turn it off. Okay, so that's they're called mini system taps and that's what you should have underneath your sink or um, basin. Uh, just turn them off like any normal tap. To turn them off, turn them clockwise, so you screen them in. Uh, I'm not going to pull my drawer out and get a better angle for you, but that's what it is. So turn them off first and open the tap and make sure the water has shut off. Right, so water's off. Turn the tap on just to make sure the water is off. Turn it hot, turn it to the right, to the cold, just to make sure they're both completely off because you never know if those little stop valves work or not. What we're looking for is a little button and cap, which is that thing there. Now, on mine here, it's at the back. Uh, most times you're going to find that at the front, okay? You'll find it at the front and it, a lot of the times it'll be blue and um, red, hot and cold. So it's the marking for which direction is hot and cold. If it's at the front, to even get to it, you're going to have to make sure it's up um, to get your Allen key in the right angle. Because what we're looking for in there is a little grub screw, uh, an Allen key type grub screw. So you want to take your Allen key, right, stick it in there till you feel you've bit, you're in it and, and turn it, and then start trying to lift the top and then when it comes free, don't take the Allen key out anymore, you don't have to, uh, the nut out anymore, you don't have to. And, um, okay, so that's off. Now, this might, now we've got to undo a fitting here to allow the cartridge to lift out. Now this thing right here might look like it's pretty hectic and that's what we've got to undo, but it's plastic and it's, um, it's just there to cover between the handle and the base on this particular one. Some, if it has a hex head on it, like, okay, this plastic, we're going to unscrew it, take it off. If it has a hex head or anything like that that looks like you're supposed to put a fitting on, it is probably the thing that's holding it on. It's chrome, but in my case, it's fake. It comes out. Get a shifter, or whatever tool you got, and you can see they've got a flat edge here and there's a flat edge on the back. Well, that's where the shifter's got a bite. Okay, so get a nice good grip, hold onto the spout, and we're twisting um, anti-clockwise. Okay, not too hard. All right, just take that off now. And what will come out of there is, should pull straight up, there should be nothing else holding it in, is the cartridge. They won't all look like this, okay? That's why sometimes they're very much brand specific. Uh, there's no markings on it, there's jack and shit to tell you where it comes from, where to get another one. If you can't get another one, then you're going to have to take this whole thing out and replace it. Now if that's in the shower in the wall, that's obviously a big problem. Okay, so we've gone to the store, we've showed them, we've got our new one, we're going to put it back in. Now you'll notice these two points here, with the um, blue O-rings, they're the holes where the water's got to come up. That's actually what makes you seal. Um, and you've got these two lugs here, so they obviously have to sit into some position. So let's have a look inside. Uh, if you can see it, a good angle here, you can see up in the back corner here are those two holes. So it can only go one way. Those two lugs have got to go in that, those two holes up the back, and these holes at the front are where the water's coming through, so that's where these blue O-rings have got to sit. Just chuck it in there. Until it goes down, you might have to turn it left and right a little bit. Do you feel it go in? That's all that's a little tricky. So let me line it up properly. And that would be it. So now it's the case of putting 
this locking thing back on. Doing it up. Putting our little fake cover back on. Put the head back on. And uh, Allen key to the grub screw back up. And then turn the water back on. Now this this what the process I've done here also works if your flip mix is leaking out of the top. So if you start to have water come out the top and run down the side, it's those blue uh, O-rings I showed you before. They're not sealed right. So you need to do the same process. Get a new cartridge. Like I said, if you cannot find the cartridge, get a whole new flip mixer. And um, I'll have to do a video on that soon to show you how it's done. So just turn it on and test it, and you're away. All right, guys. See you next time. Hey guys, I just did a quick playback and I think I neglected to mention something and I don't really want to do this whole thing again. Now, what I'm talking about is when you turn the water on. I'd suggest you turn the water on while you have this lever top off and you can still see, remember I had that brass um, locking nut and you can, that's still exposed, you can see it. So turn the water on just slowly at first and keep an eye on that and make sure it's not running out because you may have to do that brass nut up just a little bit tighter and might not have enough compression down on those blue O-rings like I told you. So turn the water on and put the put this handle back on without putting the grub screw in and just go turn it left and right. Make sure it all works and then put the grub screw in to hold the handle on permanently. So I hope that's pretty much self-explanatory. It just means you're not pulling the handle off if you've done something wrong, that's all. And um, I don't want you to go, when you're doing that brass nut up, I don't want you to go heaps, 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 heaps tight the first time. I want you to get it on so it's pretty firm, like it's getting a bit hard to turn the shifter. Turn the water on, test it, make sure it's all sweet, make sure the tap doesn't run out the end, uh, and make sure it doesn't leak out of the body, because you might need, if it does, you just need a bit more compression. But I wouldn't want you to go tightening it up way, way too much to find that you haven't set the cartridge in the right position and you crack something. So. Nice and light to start, get the water on, give it a good test. If it's fine, leave it. If it's not, try tightening it up a little bit more, little increments to start, and then put your um, handle and lever back on and put the grub screw in if it's permanent. All right, it's definitely at this time.